Hello everyone, it's Ethan from the Orlando Taurus. I just got my eyes dilated, so we're wearing some sunglasses today. Um, they'll probably come off later in the vlog. It just, I can't see without the glasses. Um, but we're at Universal Orlando this morning on Tuesday, on May 9th, for the closing day of Poseidon's Fury and the uh, Castle Show for the, the Harry Potter projection show. And we actually did come here last Thursday and we did see the projection show. We won't actually be here all day today. Um, Poseidon's closes tonight. But tonight we're actually gonna be at SeaWorld riding Pipeline. So we're gonna get early access to that ride and we're gonna film a video hopefully there later today. But because of that, we won't be able to be in the last tour group of Poseidon's, but we will give you all the details about this. We were on the last uh, few trains of Woody Woodpecker when Kid Zone closed earlier this year. And uh, the year before when Shrek closed, we were here on closing day. So we've done all the closing day attractions and we're gonna be here closing day. We're gonna do Poseidon's for you like hopefully three or four times. So we're gonna be here all morning doing the attraction. There's also a brand new show in studio. So we're gonna show you the guys that one. We're gonna show you guys the brand new Passholder Lounge and a lot of the other construction updates um, we already covered last week, so we won't be really showing those. But yeah, let's head in. On the way in, there were actually some Fast and the Furious cars on display. We'll show you guys that on the way out of the city walk later today. I totally forgot to show you guys. As of right now, it's a really nice day out and we're heading straight into the parks. Um, we're gonna start at Studios, even though we're gonna head over to Poseidon soon. We're gonna see the new dance show that just came out on Saturday. It looks very interesting. And yeah, we're gonna film it, get some photos and stuff. It's gonna be really cool. We're heading into the archway. Let's go into the parks. Looks somewhat busy today, we'll see. The right side turnstiles are currently closed off as they're refurbishing it. They just rebuilt the whole structure and eventually the left side might get redone as well. But we'll let you know if that ends up happening. So pick up the maps with Poseidon's Fury on it before the attraction does go away. Because of this refurbishment, the shortcut is currently closed off, that path by guest services. You'd have to go around the um, Today Cafe and then you can go around. Um, it looks like we have a couple updates over here. We've got new merch last visit, so we're not gonna show you guys that. In the facade, the scrims and scaffolding in front of the Minions facade entrance for the attraction have been removed. That was your last visit as well. Nothing new going on with Minion Blast yet. And we still have a little construction wall here. And this snack stand still closed. But this digital board now is displaying information, which is just refurbishment recently. So it looks brand new, and now we actually have attraction times on there. There's not too much going on around this half of the park. In fact, there's not too much going on around the whole park, because everything new we already covered last visit on this past Thursday. And today is Tuesday. But um, we'll show you guys the new uh, dancing show. And it's pretty much the only new update in this park right now. Might even catch a ride on Men in Black, too, while we're here. So the brand new show is called Mel's Drive-In and Dance, and apparently it's just an ongoing show, continuous. It just goes on throughout the day. And it might be a little hard to hear me throughout the day because um, basically it's a little windy outside. They've removed the awning from the uh, entrance to the old Passover Lounge because that's where they're putting the Jurassic Park Trivia Store, opening on May 26th as part of Jurassic Park's 30th anniversary. And they have a hint towards the Jurassic Park Trivia Store as well. We still have Horror Nights Preview merch. They just remo uh, relocated around the store, but now we have Chucky merch on the main display. And the Horror Nights merch is still here, just relocated in the back side. It looks like they're out of candles over in this display. So they're gonna wait out here for the new dance show, because I do want to see it. And probably film it on the GoPro, get a couple clips on the camera as well, and then take some photos during the show. It happens right in this little area. I'm excited to see it. They have character meet and greets currently going on around the park. Yeah, I'm ready to see this new show. The next show time is in over 30 minutes. We'll be back over here. We're gonna get a ride on Men in Black and then come back for the show, which is in about 35 to 40 minutes from now. So we'll have plenty of time to squeeze them both. They're also doing um, little surveys at the media center and you can get like $30 gift cards or so from filling out, from like watching previews of shows and stuff. It's pretty neat, free gift cards, so. 
<laughs> Looks like they have some kind of uh, construction vehicle in the kids on site. I don't know if it's sucking up stuff or like putting down soil of some sort. Concrete, I don't know, but we have some cool construction vehicle. Over here outside of the Simpsons, the normal attraction entrance has returned. They're redoing the um, flooring here. As you can see, this is brand new flooring. And behind this construction wall, they're also getting new flooring to match what's right here. So I'm excited to see that refurbishment once these walls are down. It's really cool that they're um, updating all the concrete and stuff. Let's get a quick ride on Men in Black and go back in time to see the show. We didn't quite max out. We got pretty close. We might come back after the show just to get one more ride on it. Um, we'll see how timing goes and stuff. But um, we're on the way to the show. We have about like 12 minutes before the show starts. We're heading over there now. Show's about to start in about eight minutes or so. We're gonna grab a nice spot for it. It's right over here in front of Mel's driving. It's called Driving and Dance, themed to the 50s, I believe. It's kind of American graffiti style, and it's really interesting. We just saw the new Dan show, it was really good. The choice of music was kind of eh. Like they have a good 50s music at the beginning, they're developing a story. Kind of like a love interest kind of thing between the characters. And I think it's actually pretty cool. And then um, there's kind of like a dubstep section of this, uh, the dance show. 
And it, it reminds me of a lot of Academy of Villains or like uh, something from Nightmare Fuel from Halloween Horror Nights. And it, don't get me wrong, it's good. Like the dance portion is really amazing. I don't think it fits the theme of the show though. So like, I do like it though, either way. Um, towards There's a lot of crowd involvement, so it keeps the uh, kinetic energy of the streets going and it includes all the crowds. I think it's really good for this area of the park because it needs a lot of that. It's kind of lacking in it. It just has a lot of meet and greets on this side. Um, and then towards the end, the story kind of falls through that was created in the beginning. It doesn't really continue it. So I'd like to see more of a continuation of the same story. And also, there's a, as all the actors leave, you probably heard, but there was like rap, just rap music. And I don't think that really fits. I mean, maybe if it was earlier time period rap from like the 50s, that would fit. But I feel like what they have right now is too modern for that show. We could stay here and get another ride on like uh, Men in Black and stuff, but I don't want to walk all the way to the back of the park again. And everything's pretty quiet on this park. Like, no weights here today. We're going to head over here. I want to show you guys uh, Poseidon's Fury. I want to spend as much time over there as possible. And right now it's about 11.50, um, and the show started at 11.30, so I'd say the show's about 15 minutes long. I was talking a little bit after the show. Um, so yeah, it's got pretty good length to it. I think that might be a little bit longer than Vamos, which is another really good street show that we've seen as well in the New York area of the park. Right now at the park, some days it closes early because we have a grad bash and grad venture going on, mostly on the weekends. It's like a special event for kids in school to celebrate like their graduations and stuff. But yeah, um, I don't think we have any of that going on today. And it's actually like really quiet here in City Walk. I would spend more time at uh, studios, but we might go back there later depending on how we're doing with timing with stuff. So um, last time we were too late to check out the uh, new pass holder entrance, but we're here early enough today. It's open from 10 to 2. As you can see, there's long waits to get into the park in the normal entrance. So we're going to try out this pass holder entrance. It should be pretty convenient. As you can see, we have a sign pointing towards this way for the pass holder entrance. And right over here is the exclusive entrance for pass holders. Once again, it closes at 2, and this is being used until May 26. This entrance, we come around like next to the exit of the park, and we get to bypass the crowds. It's a little out of the way, but honestly, you save time because you're not walking through. Now, I would always check the crowds at the front before you use this, because you might actually save time just going through the main turnstiles. As you can see, everyone trying to enter the park. This is a big crowd, everyone's here for Poseidon's today, but the streets actually look pretty quiet. It's probably just busy over at Poseidon's. It's like really bizarre the, how quiet it is over here, but I'll take it. A lot of the restaurants here um, for pass holder month this month, we have, um, it's not even pass holder month, they just have a lot of benefits, bonus benefits this month until May 26th. We have a lot of exclusive dining options at a lot of the restaurants around the resort, including the hotels and some of the stuff in City Walk. But also like here, for example, you got exclusive dining options and you have an exclusive upstairs area for pass holders. We have an upstairs area just like this at Lombard's Landing in the other park as well. This uh, DJ booth is set up for like one of those grad bash events, but we're heading straight to Poseidon's Fury right now. And it looks like over here we have a mini construction wall blocking off the side of this uh, suit's entrance. Restrooms are here and honestly, it's not really blocking off too much. But I think they're just refurbishing that little sign on the right side. So the construction walls do go really far back and um, we're taking the shortcut here to get to Poseidon's even quicker. So uh, like I said in past uh, attractions that close we usually are here for the last showing but um, what Universal is doing today is they're um, restricting how many people can visit that last showing and they're handing out wristbands for the last showing of Poseidon's and some people have them that did a show earlier today you would have had to do one of the first ones at the beginning of the day to get a wristband. So, um, and I heard they just sold out of it, but we're gonna go confirm that and double check with you guys. Today is really hot out. It's like the hottest day of the week. It's like 90 degrees. But yeah, hopefully that water tunnel will be nice. I heard they might be a little strict with the filming and photo policy, but we already have filming and photos, video and photos from the attraction, so I'm not worried. So we have a wristband here for the final showing. You have to ride by 8.15. They just sold out of the wristbands, so, um, that's for the final showing only, which we won't be here for anyways. But yeah, we're going to see if we can go do a few times this today. So we're going to come back for a show pretty soon. We're going to hit the pass order lounge right now and get our magnet, and then we're going to come back. This is the brand new snack stand over here that opened a couple weeks ago in Marvel. So only 25 for Spider-Man and about 10 or 15 for Doom. It's really quiet, but we're almost at the pass order lounge. We're making it there. Bunch of characters are out doing meet and greets. We're about to head into the pass order lounge, which is over here at the uh, Betty Boop store. 
You can get a free monthly magnet in here, which goes away on the 26th of May. We're gonna check it out. It, the old location was in the other park. They recently relocated. Now we have construction walls here by Popeyes. We just show you guys the new ones earlier in the week, last week when we were here. The new lounge has tons of air conditioning. We got soda products, soda with a little uh, slushy machine. We got some sweets, nice tables in here, some merchandise. Definitely cozy in here. They got some cool stuff, cool decor on the wall. Yeah, not too much going on in here. We've just picked up our magnet here. Um, as you can see, it's pretty big. It's a really cool design representing Jurassic Park. And once again, it's their 30th anniversary of the Jurassic Park this year, and we have a Jurassic Park trivia store coming in the other park where the old Passable Lounge was. Now we're gonna head over to Poseidon's and head up to the attraction. And we're about to get escorted actually through this next Poseidon's Fury show. Thankfully we know some people in the show, so it's gonna be really cool. Um, but yeah, we're heading over there now. We're almost at the show. The glasses have come off because my eyes are better from the dilation, so we don't need to wear them anymore. But um, anyways, yeah, but a lot of people are upset because with the attraction closing, there's a lot of people who call them fake fans. They're trying to be here and so that they cared about the attraction before it closed. See, I'm open to everyone loving the attraction. I don't care when you loved it, just, it's a great ride, a great walkthrough attraction. And we're gonna film this one, a uh, full walkthrough of the attraction, and um, we'll get photos and more video later. But we're using this lens, which might not do as well in the dark, but it's extra wide. And now, about to enter the show, right in front of the line. Discovery. 
but then he disappeared into the temple, and all the weird stuff with the power started to happen. And this and it continues. We're fine. This generator stuff. We're good. We have a flashlight for real that is affected too. Fun. Let me try the other light. I'm sorry. I gotta get my battery. Out. I think we're good for this dot. Whoa. Whoa, 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 check it out! Aha! Uh -huh. It's some kind of message! Behind this wall, a demon sleeps, an ancient evil held in keep. Beside its power contained the beast, but he too perished when battle ceased. Let none disturb this chamber wall, or loose the dark, and then lose all. But if this evil you do release, then seek the trident to restore the peace. For he who holds the trident bolt has beside its power for all time stalled. That must be the discovery the professor was talking about. We found it! Ow! 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 Is anyone there? Speaking of the professor, can't. Hey, sir, it's Taylor, and I'm in the chamber. Temper. Who calls upon you? I don't know if we did. You have 
Poseidon's trident in your hand. What is your request of me? This is Poseidon's trident. What is your wish? I shall not ask again. You're serious? Yes, we want to get out of here, please. Alas, it is beyond my power to grant you passage back to your world. The Dark One has sealed the doors to this chamber with a locking spell impervious to magic. The way home is now impossible. These people will sue. All is not lost. While I cannot help you back to the surface, I can provide you with safe passage deeper into this temple. Into the temple? That's... Uh, I don't know if we can do that. We're trying to get out. Listen. That sounds like the ocean. Quickly, we have precious little time. The arrow of the Titan Gold. Prepare to journey into the heart of this temple, into the chamber of Poseidon. Are you brave enough to make the passage on Let me ask my people, are we brave enough? Not the 
China that's the key. Maybe it's something else, I guess. And actually, oh, okay, there's an inscription. You can see it around the outer edge of the door. We've been in a crazy situation already. It's crazy to think, but maybe that's some kind of a password to unlock it. But uh, Use the force. Use the, the force? Yes, use the force. Now there's just a weird smell. I messed up. <laughs> You've done well, Taylor. You told me to You brought back something very dear to me. You're serious? The trident is this Poseidon? Follow my voice and bring that to me. Yes. Fear not, for I am Poseidon. I have waited centuries for this moment. That's him. Now I will destroy you, them, and your precious trials. It's an air force! Yeah! They are under my protection. I am Dracanon, and the power is mine. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! You guys, we're in the temple of Poseidon! Look out, look out! We need to get the trident to Poseidon! By the power of the dark ones, I order you, give me that trident over my dead body! Poseidon! We need to move! Surrender! No way! Give that to me now! It's not gonna happen!
just got out of the show with Poseidon. That was amazing. And we're going to see if we can do like three more times. Hopefully, if not, then we'll do two more times. And we're going to film another one. And uh, we're going to get photos this time through, though. And we also got this really cool Poseidon's coin that Taylor handed us after the show. It's got like the uh, Poseidon symbol and it's got Global Discovery right there. Really neat. About to head in. And we also have new signage out at the front saying that um, right, right here about the wristband and that it may close early due to capacity. We're heading into the next showing. We're going to get photos this time. And then the third time we go through, we're going to get video. And the last time, we're going to get photos. But yeah. Look the dolphins on the ceiling. Round, round two. There was like a battle, a huge battle. Nobody survived. Uh -huh. Welcome to your family vacation. <laughs> they say that the souls of the dead still haunt the temple today. I try not to believe in the creepy soul. <laughs> that was a dolphin. <laughs> the professor thinks that there's different chambers in it all throughout this place. Except for this, though, we haven't found much. Uh, earlier today, he called us on the radio, said he made some big discovery. But when we got here, he was missing. That's when the weird stuff started to happen throughout the temple, including, I was about to mention, the power problems. This has been going on. We're okay. We have a flashlight. Uh, who's there? Hello? That does not sound like a professor. Who has awakened my secrets? This lady in the front row with a very realistic baby. <laughs> you search for your master. My master? You're talking about the professor. Yes, we're looking for... Come then. Come then. Follow in his steps. No, thank you. Actually, the professor just told us all to get out of the temple. Right. 
strident. Strident. What is your wish? I shall not ask again. Yes, we would like to get out of here, please. Alas, it is beyond my power to bring two passes back to your world. The Dark One has sealed the doors to this chamber with a locking spell impervious to magic. Nothing's happening on the wall. But now is the time with fortune and plan. Your trident comes home. Return to your hands. Oh, whoa, whoa. You guys, it's some kind of passage. No way. No way. Ha ha. Let's do it. Let's find the professor. line of people. See if I can get footage of the line. It looks like a lot of them are already entering the building though. We're entering again for the fourth time today. Cannot wait to experience this again. There's a cool little graphic on the floor here. Probably forgot about that. But yeah, they had some really cool details in the queue. 
We're in for our fourth Poseidon's Fury of the day. We're gonna take photos this time. Once again, we're taking photos this round. We got a lot of video already. Right up here, we have a hand from the Terror Mines, which is a haunted house back in the day. We're gonna go in a, a fifth time today. We're about to enter the queue again. Long line to head in. Everyone's crowding outside the building. We're heading back through our fifth show today. We're gonna head, uh, stay towards the back of each room. We might, uh, and photos. The queue. We got a lot of cool details with the spear here. We got the face. And we're heading in. Bit of a line here, but we're in the next show. Seashell lamps. I feel, you know what it feels like right now? It's open right now. It feels like that first bar from all my and you can't see. Hey, hello? Is anybody in there? Can anybody hear me? Uh, okay, look, don't worry. Don't panic. Things can't get any worse. 
My final show of Poseidon's Fury. That was my fifth show today. We won't be seeing the last one, but um, today's video is gonna be very long because of how many times we've seen Poseidon. Um, but yeah, anyways, that that was my final show. We're not gonna be here for the very last show. But that's all right. We didn't come for the very last show with Shrek either. But all the energy of the crowds is still here today, regardless. And um, today is also the closing night of the um the Harry Potter Castle projection show. But they're just enhancing it. The show will return in the near future. We did, we are gonna be able to see that tonight, but we did see this last time we were here. We're now gonna check on the wait for Velocicoaster. So we might do it since we didn't do it last time. And we're also gonna show you guys about the shirts here. As you can see, lots of crowds are entering the Temple of Poseidon. Apparently, they actually restocked the Poseidon Sphere shirts this morning and then sold out of them at 10.15. But we got our Poseidon Sphere shirt last visit. We already took care of that. If you want to see what those shirts look like, definitely check out my last video. It must be quiet over at Hope because there's like no one screaming. The audio seems off in this area. But hopefully uh, the ride is short. It says like 35 on the app. Hopefully the line moves pretty quick. We're going to see what line we're going to head in. Not sure yet. Single riders is open. It might be short. Let's see what singles looks like today. So far this isn't a bad wait at all. Head in. Looks like the wait's about the same. Single riders didn't take too long at all. We just got off it and now we're gonna be exiting the park. They're running all four trains, but it looks like some of them are getting delayed on the some of the trains are getting delayed on the brake run. We're all backed up for a bit, but not too bad, nothing crazy. And yeah, now we're gonna be heading out of the park and I'll play the uh, Harry Potter castle video at some point in the next few clips. Everyone's crowding around the attraction. Like I said, we already did it today. We're about to head out. 
kind of sad being that that's my last time seeing the Poseidon's facade, how grand the whole area over here is. I really hope they'll keep some of the elements of the land and the attraction before it gets replaced. We're on the way out of the park now. So yeah, since we're on the way out, we're gonna play my um, clip from the Harry Potter castle show right now. So yeah, that was the castle show. It's about five or so minutes long. It's actually pretty decent, but somewhat short. Okay, we also explored uh, Lost Continent at night. All the clips from the other day. Make sure you check out that full video if you want to see more of the other stuff I did the other day. We're heading out of the park now. Um, there's something I forgot to show you earlier on in City Walk, so we're going to show you guys that on the way out. Looks like there's also a special event in City Walk tonight, but we're heading out right now. As you can see, this whole area is closed off at the moment. Looks like these are a lot of people for the special event tonight. I believe the Red Coconut is open for normal operations now at night. It's just the generic Red Coconut Club right now. This is what I forgot to show you guys when I came in earlier today. They uh, replaced the Mario Bros. advertisements with Fast and the Furious for the new movie. And they have some cars on display. These things look really nice. I don't know if they're screen used, but they are real cars. That's really cool. So yeah, like I said, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry we weren't able to hit the very last show. Um, and a lot of other people who are here that can uh, get footage of that. But um, basically, yeah, today's video is also probably really long because of how many times we did Poseidon, so I might not show the full walkthrough, but I'm probably chop it up and stuff. But yeah, um, I do tend to post videos late on my channel. If you want the most updated and accurate information, make sure you're following all my social media channels because that's where I post when I'm right at the parks. I post the most up-to-date content there. That's going to be on Twitter, at Ethan Hershaft. On Instagram at Ethan Hersha and at Florida Theme Park Picks, and also on TikTok at Ethan Hersha. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.